Hello, this video has been created by Select Plan to show you how to use our operator lift, how to undertake a pre-use inspection, and what to do in the event of a power cut or breakdown. At the base of the crane you should find the control box for the lift. When the crane is not in use, the isolator should be switched off and locked to prevent any unauthorised use. Remove the padlock and switch it to on. Both the green lights should be on as shown here. It's classed as a lift and therefore doesn't require specific training. However, you should familiarise yourself with the contents of this video. As best practice, you should undertake a pre-use inspection whilst inspecting the crane. So as you climb the mast, make sure that the mast of the lift is clear from any debris, check around the lift for anything that seems out of place, and check all the fixings are secure and haven't become loose. You should also check that the keys for the isolator switch and the electrical panel are inside the lift itself. They should be on a chain stored inside the document box. If they're missing, the lift must not be used. And you should confirm on your weekly inspection sheet that the lift is free from defects and fully operational. When climbing up, maintain three points of contact at all times. If the lift is not in front of you, simply press the call button and the lift will travel down automatically and stop at the platform in front of you. Open the door by pulling on the black handle and then lift the catch and slide the gate open. Make sure you fully close it before entering the lift. Step inside the lift and pull down on the door handle. This will raise up the walkway. When the door is closed, the red light on the control panel in the lift will go out. Operate the lift by pressing the up button. If you climb in the lift and see that the red light is still on, make sure the door is closed and that the emergency stop has been released. The lift continues up at a constant rate until it gets to the top landing where it gradually slows down and comes to a halt. There's a five second delay before you're able to open the doors. So after five seconds, pull on the black handle and raise the door up. The walkway will automatically lower. Walk across the walkway, lift up the black handle and slide the gate across. Fully close the gate, raise up the walkway and then send the lift down if it's required. Climb down the steps, maintaining three points of contact at all times. It is essential that you close the door and make sure the lift is ready to be used, as it forms part of the rescue procedure for the crane. The maximum operating wind speed of the lift is 72 km per hour, or 20 meters per second. When the crane is being left out of service, the lift should be parked at the bottom, as this helps minimise the wind load on the crane. You'll notice there's a solid section of lift mast which is adjacent to the anticline. This is to prevent unwanted climbers from bypassing the anticline by climbing up the lift mast. Make sure you park the lift well clear of this section. The lift should be left isolated with a padlock fitted to prevent unauthorised use. Now we'll cover the process of what to do in the event of a loss of power or a breakdown. Press the alarm button to alert people on the ground that you have a problem. Also press the emergency stop to stop the lift from moving should the power come back on. You'll need the keys that are attached to a lanyard in the lift and stored in the document folder on the wall. Use the panel key to open the small door which is below the control panel. Inside you'll see the lever for the brake release. By raising this very carefully up, the lift will start to lower itself. You need to be gentle and controlled. 
The lift should only go down slowly. If you go too fast, you will fire the emergency brakes and no further lowering will be possible. You should only lower one meter at a time and then wait 30 seconds for the brakes to cool. Going any faster could cause problems. So after 30 seconds, lower another meter. Watch carefully out of the window to see your progress. When you get close to the landing platform, you need to be ready to manually release the door. To do this, first you need to release the step. You can then stand on the step and open the hatch in the roof of the lift. The step is mounted to the wall behind you. To release it, pull on the black catch and rotate the step away from the wall. The leg is inside, so it needs to be lowered. Make sure that the step is secure before you stand on it. You can then open the trapdoor in the roof of the lift and access the key switch. The roof switch is unlocked with the key on the same key ring as the panel keys. Release the cover, insert the key and turn it through 90 degrees. Remove the key, step back down off the step and you can now open the door. If necessary, close the door and lower some more. Continue to lower the lift very gently on the brake until the walkway engages with the interlock which will allow the sliding gate to be open. Make sure you leave the stop switch engaged to prevent any further use. Make sure the lift is not used again until Select have undertaken a full inspection. So just to summarise that, sound the alarm, remove the keys from the document holder and open the small door which is below the lift controls with the panel key. Gently feather the brake so you lower very slowly one metre at a time. Wait 30 seconds between each one metre lower to allow the brakes to cool. When you can see the landing platform close, about half a metre away through the window, it's time to manually release the door. So release the step and lift it so it's nice and secure. Carefully stand on it and open the roof trap door. Use the round key to turn the red key switch through 90 degrees. Step down off the step. The door can now be opened. Lower the lift so the walkway engages with the interlock which will allow you to slide open the gate. Leave the stop switch engaged to prevent any further use and call select plant so we can undertake an inspection. If you're in any doubt, don't hesitate to phone select plant for assistance. Thank you for watching this video. Please contact us if you have any feedback and check out our website for other useful resources.